So you want to do in a situation when you can get something that looks like this, what's going on is this guy's in the, in the vicinity and you can go ahead right now and just take this guy out. The problem is, before I do this, he could just shove this mine. You see that? Right. When you do something like that, I'm scared like this, and then all of a sudden you have something looks like this, guess what? You see what's happening? So what I'm saying is my opportunity was the fact that he allowed me to raise my hands in fear. Okay. Same thing you would do. So when I'm here, you see how I don't have the room to do that now? Okay, but when I, oh my God, I'm doing this. You see what's happening? See my back is arched. Okay. Now let's just forget this for a minute. The fact that this is here. Okay. You see the rest. All I really need to do is take this hand from this position and just turn this and turn it this way. Now one, I can use this on him. Two, he's within distance here where I can do this, and here we go. And don't forget the, what we can do with the paws, right? But this is exactly what you're into right now. Okay. Now, so let's go back to this mine. So you let this guy bring you up here against the wall like this. It doesn't matter if he has this or not, okay? Once you do this, if he allows you to do this, you're in a position to do this. This knife is now this arm, okay? From here, this is simple. And of course, first thing you do is shoot the gun. Yes. Were you uh, basically creating a compression and by... You got the knife well, Yeah. He, it, 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 it seemed like you were in, intentionally putting a compression, making it you need to, You need to bring the rest. forward. See, I, let's say this isn't touching here. If I just do this, okay, I'm able to do this, right? Oh, look, he's losing the knife. Okay, now, this thing is already touching my body. I can't afford him to thrust this at all. If I do something like this and come down like this, what's going to happen? Too long a motion, very simple, very short. Okay, I'm out. Okay, now, if he's, oh my God, please, don't hurt me, mister. Okay, so when you're in this position like this, all I really have to do is how fast can I come down on this? And when I just touch him, what's the first thing that's going to happen? See how I pull his wrist? His wrist is here, and that's just getting pulled right into me like this. I have the wrist compression going on right here against this. I can stabilize and control this knife, and I can even use the knife if I really need to. But I've got a disarm. From this point, it's a simple matter of coming here. Oh, bloody nose. Here we go. From here, it's a simple matter of coming here. And there's the fingers and the eyes. And you know what to do now. Yeah. If if you're like this, couldn't you also come up, or is that too dangerous? Well, let's take a look. What happens? Look what happens when I do this. Okay. What do you think? It would be a lot for us. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. One up and one down. If the hand was here, you see how it's not in the center line? Center line is here. If this is here, what can I do now? See how easy that is? Do I risk getting cut that way? No. Okay, he's got the knife again. Okay, it's no longer in the center again. This time, it's over here. Or let's say, more this direction. The whole body might be that way. You see where I'm at now? Which way do I trap it now? That way. Here we go. Good. Okay. So, what I'm getting at, and this is, you know, it could be this one. We do the same principle when we're doing these, right? Okay. So, the knife is coming out, and we just do toppy toppy. <laughs> like, them killer elbows doom. <laughs> okay, so when this thing is in the center like this, I need to get something that looks like this. Okay, no matter which way I go, I risk getting cut. I risk moving across my own body. And this is true with a gun, by the way. When there's a gun being held on you, what do I do right now? Bang, bang, bang. What happens if I go like this? He's got a gun. Shoot you in the head. There's a real good chance, one, he's trying to pull the trigger, and two, just the reaction of being, him feeling and being startled, he could end up pulling the trigger. Right, and look what's happening. As this gun rises, the projectile's going to be coming out in this line. It's going across my body. It's even going across something worse. It's going across my window, the vitals. Okay? If I go like this, it could also cause him to jerk, and he could be firing here. And if I go like this, he could be jerking and firing again. And even if he doesn't catch this, he might catch this. I, I got an idea of what you would do. I think I got it from you. Okay. Know. If this is in this situation like this, I can, and he'll allow me to do something like this, okay? From this point, I can do this. That's, he's not even going to get a chance to pull the trigger. When this is on like this, if I can come from here, bang. See, the only thing that's happening is this barrel, this barrel is going like this, like this. And even if this thing fires right now, by the time this thing gets out the barrel, this thing's going up like this. One, one thing you don't want to do, really, is go chunk in here right away. Yeah, what you want to do is capture this, and then you can go ahead, do your hit, and go into your... Well, I have 
an idea. I was wondering maybe we, this is just like you stepping back, just like putting the lock putting on your shoulder out of the way. Right. So instead of, and we're going to do scat drill in a minute, right? You're gonna, first thing you're going to learn how to do is roll, right? Use your body mechanics. Next thing you're going to learn how to do is what? Use your traps. Okay. And that's what you're that's what you're doing here. You're really what you're doing is using the roll. By doing this, even if that trigger is pulled, see my body's no longer there. Away, right. Okay. Now we can go right back into this one for that matter. What you're doing right now. Right. Okay. And over he goes. He's on his back. Let's go back to this again. When the gun or the knife is not in center, but it's on one side or the other. This dictates how you can trap this man. Okay? This is the direction you want to go now. Okay? And likewise, if he hasn't dropped the knife, you can do that now. And I can go for a throw right from here, right? Or I can do like we're doing on the tape and go here, go here, come to this position, and then go to the throw. Ooh, not too much sideways. You know what that? So we're right? expecting you to throw, though. Okay. All right, but. Nonetheless, you yeah. see the mistake. Hold the other. You know how, if I'm in this position here and that comes out, we do something looks like this? Right. Okay. Essentially, you've got the same thing going on here. From here, you have this. Right. It's all this stuff. Right. So, this is in the center here. What they're doing is they're turning the body and they're doing this. And now she's doing this. Here we go. Bang here. Then they're going here. He folds over. You drop to the knee and you go. Okay. Okay. All right, let's continue. Okay. Approaching to the back with the knife. Elbow, same motion. Pass. To the hand. Drop the knife. Elbow. Drop. Okay, now the way you were doing it a moment ago, you bring it over to this shoulder, the opposite yes. shoulder. Okay. Going to the opposite shoulder. So from the rear end. That's not what I just saw. Show me again. This position here. Mm -hmm. Pass. This shoulder. Uh, knife to the back, so this is a rear spin, right? Rear spin. Notice the elbow, too, by the way. This is exactly what we learned in the technique we did last week, right? All right. Remember, everyone remember this? Yes. The elbow's here, we turned around and used this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now when we get there, though, we're going to do what we're doing today, right? Continue. Here is there's the hand position, there's the arm break, elbow, elbow drops to the knee, there's the throw. Right here. Okay. What's going to happen is we're going to use this like this. You're on your elbow. Okay. So as this comes, we're going to go right here like this. And we're going to go here just like we normally do. See, that's the hand position. Oh, right, yeah, he has done it a little differently. Well, that's, that's the hand position. That's what he should be using. Okay, so from here, as this occurs here, Yes, I am. Second position. Right. From here, you're in this position here. Bang. You're here. And now you're here. Back again. Here. Nice. Same position. Okay. Yeah, I was pretty sure you had it. That, that is it. Yeah, see, that's it. That's high on the road right there. That's this. All right, let's, let's continue. 